Hello drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this free full song lesson where today I'm going to show you how to play the song Laid by James, drummed by David Baton Power. As usual, I've got the full PDF drum chart for you to download from my website. You'll find a link beneath this video. So have both pages of the chart printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. You can also go over to my Facebook page, drums, uh, just type in drums away into Facebook, but there's also a link beneath this video and you'll see a post pinned to the top of the page where I'm asking for song suggestions. Uh, people get to type in their suggestions, others get to vote on them, and the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was today. This song is perfect for beginners, really nice song, um, nothing too complica complicated going on, but there's techniques, beats and grooves and fills, ideas that are just the sort of standard drumming that everyone when they first start should be able to play eventually. So really, really good uh, basis for a, a, a new drummer to learn this song. So the drums come in at uh, 12 seconds here, but you can actually hear the hi-hat being stepped a bit before it. Um, one, two, three. I'm not sure if he's playing it with his foot or his right hand, but it's not really important. It's really when the snare drum comes in with our first drum fill that uh, the drums really enter. So we're just playing 16th notes on the snare drum. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The tempo going bar is one, two, three, four. So each of those clicks, we're playing four notes in there. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Ba 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 ba. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Underneath that, what uh, David is doing is he's playing the bass drum on all four beats. So every four notes on the 16th on the snare drum, we're playing a bass drum note starting with the bass drum. And as you can see there, I'm building up the volume over the length of the two bars. It doesn't start too quiet, you're not starting, you're starting sort of normal, normalish volume. And by the time you get to the end of the, of the two bars, you're not playing it's not super loud, it's just coming up to normal volume. You know, don't worry about the, the, um, the, the getting too loud is what I'm trying to say here. Don't worry about building up to the, like your maximum power. Just come up to sort of your normal power and that'll sound like the song. So over those two bars we get this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three. And we're into our first drum beat. And as you can see there, this is drumming 101 here. We get um, bass drum on one and three, snare drum on two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and simple as that. It starts with the crash symbol though when we go into verse one after that snare drum drum fill. There's always a crash after that snare drum drum fill. So we get four B and a one, two, three, um, played the bass drum there accidentally on beat two as well. Um, if you find yourself settling into that, that would work as well. It's not what you hear on the recording, but you could play, just like yesterday's lesson in fact. But what's on the recording is one, two, three, four. So we get two bars of that groove. The third bar though, we get another crash symbol on beat one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And I'm coming back to the hi-hat for the end of beat one. Then onto the second line of verse one, we get uh, the crash symbol at the beginning of that line. And then the second bar there, we can see you've got open hi-hats occurring on the end of one, two, three, and four. It closes on the next beat. So you just gotta be able to play that basic drum beat but have the open hi-hat occurring on each of the ands. One and two and three and four and one. You can see that it's sometimes opening, well it's always opening on its own, but it's sometimes closing with the snare drum. The next note closes with the bass drum. So just get used to playing that, that drum beat round. In fact, you could just loop that one drum beat. One and two and three and four and one. A better way would be to create a two bar loop so you don't just feel, um, so you don't just learn that drum beat on its own, you learn how you go in and out of it. So if we take bars uh, one and two of that second line, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and three and four and one. One, two, three, four, one and two and three. We 
then go into the same drum fill that occurs uh, throughout the song, the two bars of the 16th notes building up. So we get one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one into our next line. So let me play for you um, the second line there. I'm gonna play this all up to speed for you in a moment. So we get one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So then we go on to the third line of the verse one. And it's, it's the same drum beat as before, but um, what David starts to do is he starts to introduce the tom into the drum beat. So if you look at the second bar, you can see that on the end of beat four, he's moving to the high tom. It could be the floor tom. I think it's the high tom. It only makes sense because your hi-hat be over here and your high tom is in easy reach of the hi-hat. You could play over there. It's up to you really. It doesn't really matter. The song's not so fast that you couldn't get back from there to the hi-hat in time, no problem. But what I think he's playing is this. One and two and three and four and comes off the hi-hat for the um, for the and of four and just plays the tom instead so instead of playing the hi-hat playing the tom one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one or up to you so we get this two bar pattern occurring where that bar there the second bar also occurs in bar four so that first lot, uh, that whole line, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Onto the last line of verse one, where we get exactly the same as the second line, except without the crashing at the beginning, that second bar has those open hi-hats occurring in exactly the same place. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, the and a, two, the and a, into that drum fill again. So exactly the same as the second line. So before I go on, let me now play for you the whole of the intro, the first line, and then the whole of verse one, all four lines, up to speed without me yakking on over the top. Here we go. So you've pretty much got the whole song now. It's just a combination of all those things we've talked about. So in chorus one, you can see that the, the uh, tom is still being used on the and of beat four for bars two and four. So exactly the same as line three of the verse one. Second line of the of chorus though, and this is where it starts to vary a little bit with the, uh, the open hi-hats. And you might find this a bit tricky because you might have learned that one version where you're opening the hi-hat and all the ands. Well now in bar two, if you want to copy the album exactly, he only opens the hi-hat on the very last note, the and of four. One and two and three and four and one. So he goes into that drum fill the same way, but it's only one open hi-hat there. One, two, three, four and one, the and a two, the and a three. So if you want to just make it really simple for yourself, if you've learned the one and two and three and four and, you could do that every single time he goes into that drum fill if you wanted to. Uh, it at least would be consistent. Um, I'm not sure why he improvised with the hi-hat so much because it is quite different every time. No problem, it's just an interesting choice why you change it every time for no musical reason. But like I say, it happens on the end of beat four if you want to play like the recording. Uh, and then we get the two bars of build up. Verse two. This is where it changes the position of the tom. Instead of it being in bars two and four, now it's in bars one and three. So bar one starts with the crash symbol. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then the same for bar three, four and. So on to the last line of verse two, bar one has that tom on the end of four. Bar three has another hi-hat variation, this time starting on the end of beat three. One and two and three and four and one. So just two open hi hats in that bar. One, two, three and four and one. The end of two, the end of three, the end of four, the end of one. But notice how he goes into that drum fill bar. Usually it's starting on bar three. He goes into it in bar four only. So that's only one bar of build up. 
One, two, three, four, one. So be aware of that. That second line, uh, that last line there, only has one bar of the, of the 16th note build up drum fill. So that last line, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, the end of two, the end of three, and the four, the end of one, two, three. So be aware of that, otherwise, you'll go out of time with the song. So on to page two, chorus two. And uh, we've got the, the Tom now changing to bars two and four again, not bars one and three, uh, the and of four there. Um, the second line has just the one open hi-hat on the and of four. We've done that previously. And it's back to two bars now for the, for the length of the 16th note build-up. Verse three, Tom notes on bars two and four. And the second line of verse three has now the full bar of open hi-hats again. Then line three of verse three, we got the toms, well, say for lines uh, three and four, the toms extra notes are on bars two and four for both lines there. Notice the crash symbol after the 60th note buildup though on line three. And then finally for chorus three, staying with the toms on bars two and four. Uh, but the, uh, the last line, however, we got one last difference. Bar two has just the one open hi-hat on the and of four going into the two lengths bar of 16th notes, but there's just one slight change at the different, uh, so one slight change at the very end of that second bar of the drum fill, where we don't play four e and a one, he plays four e and one. So we're not playing all four 16th notes, and the third note is up here on the tom, or this tom, up to you. So we get four e and one for the very last part of the bar. So slowly those two bars, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four e and one. Right left, right, bang. That's how the song ends. One, two, three, four e and one. If you wanted to play three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and end it just like you've done previously with all the other drum fills, that would be absolutely fine. No one's going to hear the difference or miss that, that little tom at the end. But it's on the recording, so I included it. And it's not so hard that you couldn't vary what you've just done and just make sure you know where beat four is coming up. And the last note, four e and one. Instead of four e and a, four e and one. And we're crashing on beat one, the very last bar so the song ends. So before we finish, let me now play for you both lines of chorus three so we can hear how the song ends. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed that, nice and simple for you hopefully. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download and print out the free PDF from my website, again the link is beneath this video. And then while you're over at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's over 500 full video song lessons where I teach you famous and popular songs from start to finish. You get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart just like this lesson. Every single bar is included. Um, and I think I've got one other James song um, up on the website already and I'm sure I'll be adding more James in the future as well. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even solos. I give you three e-books I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip! and happy drumming to you.